we've come to Monte Falco in mid-September for a celebration of Vini. After all, this is the city of wine and this is the city of olive oil. In fact, we're sort of looking against the sun here, but we're looking out at the olive groves of Monte Falco. We have a lot of traffic coming up for the celebration of wine and olive oil here in Monte Falco. Off in the distance, we see a CZ. And we can see at the foot of Mount Subasio backdropping a CZ. It's also backdropping Spello. And down there is the magnificent Valle Umbra Nord. And right here are some of the olive trees of Monte Falco. They'll probably be picking olives soon this year due to a very warm summer. In fact, now is the time of grape harvest for many. We'll be harvesting our grapes this week, and this is just mid-September rather than October. But now we're going to turn around, head this way because we are going into Monte Falco. Monte Falco will soon welcome us. Città del Vino, Città del Olio, a beautiful medieval hill town of Umbria. The bells are ringing, welcoming us to Monte Falco. It's about six in the evening on a beautiful September evening. We're seeing the cypress trees here, reaching to the sky, symbolizing infinity. They often lead the way to villas or cemeteries, places of rest and repose. Up there's the crane, the national bird of Italy, and the bells are ringing there in the church of Santa Chiara. Santa Chiara is an Augustinian saint of Monte Falco, not to be confused with St. Clair of Assisi. Now let's go and find out the area in Monte Falco where we can taste the wine. We're going into Monte Falco. We can see the Mura Urbiche or the city gates. And we're going to enter the Porta Sant'Agostino on our way to the medieval church of St. Augustine. Uh, start at the end of the 13th century, finish in the 14th century, where we'll be doing wine tastings in this, these days of celebration of the wines of Monte Falco, especially the Sagrantino. The Torre is Mer has Merli. The tower there has um, Merli, which indicate these Merli, or the crenellation, indicates a dedication of the town to the feudal emperor. At a time Barbarossa was here, they say Frederick II, his grandson, used to come here from Assisi to hunt falcons, hence the name Mount of the Falcons. Those are Merli, which are Ghibelline. This is a Ghibelline Merlo. Squared off crenellation would be Guelph. Now we go into the medieval town of Monte Falco. We've just come through the Torre Merlata or the city gate with crenellation on top. Uh, there's restoration going here on the left, which of course just attracted my husband Pino's eye. And here on the right, in a little niche, San Francesco. We're now inside the cloister of the Augustinian church. Look at these magnificent uh, bipartite medieval windows. And this is the area of the Augustinian cloister and it's the celebration of wine here today and this is where one purchases the ticket and you get a glass and you head around and taste the wine so we'll be doing that very shortly you can see people sitting on the walls here of the Augustinian cloister enjoying conversation and enjoying the vino tasting a rosato from the Tenuta Col Falco. E vicino a Monte Falco, no? Ecco. E come è fatto il vino rosato? Prodotto da Uwe San Giovese, 
It is made of um, Sangiovese and Sagrantino. Che percentuale Sangiovese? Okay, the Sangiovese is dominant, but there's 10% of Sagrantino. Pino, come è questo vino? Ti piace? Questo quanto costa la bottiglia? This is 7 euro a bottle for a wonderful wine. Quante bottiglie producete voi? They produce about a thousand bottles of this. And the Sagrantino can only be grown in Montefalco. It's the prized wine of Montefalco, the Sagrantino. The Sagrantino, se ho capito bene, cresce in circa 22 km quadrati nel mondo. Insomma, poco posto. Yes, the Sagrantino is grown in about 22 square kilometer areas in the world. Now, as we look around in this monastery, an ex-Augustinian monastero, here we are. Imagine friars sitting down to enjoy their dinners and wines together. And now this is the moment of the tastings of the wine. We have a lot of noise here as people are enjoying their wine. Here are some young people enjoying their wine. Voi di dove siete? Ah, they're from Montefalco, Umbria. Amelia. E che bevete? Eh? Au si chiama. Ah, au, au? Ah, what is the grape? Quale l'uva? Grechetto, Malvasia Gre and Trebbiano Toscano. Okay, Grechetto, Malvasia and Trebbiano. Yeah. Buono, good wine? Perfect, fantastic wine. <laughs> Wonderful. Can we Thank see you. your wine, Maria Vittoria? And it was 30 euro a bottle, but she feels she has a prize because this wine was made in 1995. Salute! This wine is the Vermentino. And the only grape in it is Vermentino, produced on the hills near Montefalco. Quante bottiglie avete fatto più o meno? 13,000 bottles. Pino com'è? Scusi. Com'è Pino? Buono. Ti piace? Buono. Buono. This is a... Pino's having another rosato from the vineyards of the Perticaia here in Montefalco. First, Pino is going to. Pino Tobe, nome Benvenuto. Ah, Benvenuto. And Fabio wants him to try the Trebbiano. And it's appropriately called Benvenuto. And he says it's number one. Good. For antipasti and aperitifs. Bono. Fabio, last year we were we went to taste his wines too. This is refined in a steel ca ca casket. This is picked the end of September. E questo vino si chiama? Rovicciano. Rovicciano. Okay, Lube Treviano sempre? Treviano. Solo Treviano. Ogni Treviano. And Fabio has his vineyard since 1982. Maritato. Maritato. Ah, ma che vuol dire viti maritati? Okay, they're grafted. Si, si, si. La madre dell'uva. Yes, it's the, the mother of the grapevine. The grape, the grapes grow up around the maple tree. Oh, let's see. we're seeing old friends here. This is a friend of Julia. Salud.